snap. Oh yeah! Nice, Eric. You're obviously Simon Cowell here. Obviously. So, uh, have you heard that phrase? I was just standing there with my dick in my hand. Well, this is that moment. So once upon a time when I was a young man, I was doing my first ever tantra workshop and the guru says, okay, everyone's gonna get naked. I have a lot of social conditioning. I'm a Bangladeshi Muslim uh, with British politeness and also I have genital mutilation. So I wasn't gonna get naked. And it's caused a lot of problems in my life, like a lot. So he's there, everyone's getting naked and I tell him my issues and he says, Shaft, come here. I'm like, yes sir. He says, get your dick out. I'm like, um, okay. So I slowly start getting my dick out. <laughs> and I wished I got my dick out, but I didn't. He was like, okay. And he looked at me and said, Shaft, you have a beautiful lingam. And that was the first time in my life where someone actually said, I have a beautiful lingam. It meant a lot to me because my first ever memory was when I was four years old and I was pinned down and I was horrifically mutilated down there. And it affected all aspects of my life. He got me then to show my penis to a woman. I had to literally go over a huge room, size of this room, go over there and go, what do you think of my dick? And she said, you have a beautiful lingam. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I said, now the next person. And there were 60 people. At the end, I went up to him with still my dick in my hand. And he, he, got, he actually got his dick out. And I, he's, he's, he, I loved him. And he said, look, I've got exactly the same free scarrings as you. And I was like, oh my God, we're dick twins. And we literally <laughs> high-fived each other with our dicks. So this unleashed an energy inside of me. I learned to actually love myself for the first time. I realized if I loved my body, let go of all that shame and fear and guilt that all of that conditioning from my country and culture had on me, it liberated something inside of me. That, well, I mean, Star Wars, it calls it the force. In Mulan, they call it chi. But in Tantra, they call it sexual energy. Did you know that many, many people suffer from sexual trauma? I'm here to help all of those who have. Thank you. Oh, by the way, my name is Shaft. What? Oh, the irony. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm standing here with, well, anyway, I've got the mic in my hand. Um, wow. That was, uh, I've watched you work on that, and you took all the feedback, all the modifications, you rounded it out, you turned it into something truly entertaining so that we could talk about something serious. That's one of the most valuable skills in the world. It takes something really that's difficult socially to talk about, that's, that's painful, that's shameful, that, that involves your um, uh, you know, vulnerability, and then to be able to make such light of it and, and, and then to be able to say such poignant things about it. It was magical. Your physical humor, yeah, your timing, it was really great. One improvement I would want from you if you were in the finals, one, is the ending was almost like magical, and then suddenly you thought you hadn't introduced yourself or you wanted to do the shaft double tendre, double, like the, the joke. It, it was like many people have been through this and I'm here. Many people have uh, sexual trauma and I'm here to heal that. Can you just, I want you to think about that. Many people in the world are suffering some type of sexual trauma and my job, I'm here to heal that. And by the way, I'm shaft. You feel the difference, right? That's the only modification I'd offer for you is just let that drop. It was powerful. And I would have anybody in here going, I'm curious about that. I might want to know more. Give them a big hand. Thank you.